What's up, University of Windsor? I'm Lauren O'Neill. And I'm Brianna Gare, and you're watching The Lance Out Loud. The University of Windsor recently bid farewell to its 2008 graduating class. The spring convocation was also the graduation ceremony for University President Ross Paul. And I figured out this must be about my 85th convocation at Windsor and at least my 145th in total. During that time, I've shaken over 30,000 hands and spoken to over 50,000 graduates and two or three times the number of parents and friends. I'm sorry, but I don't know how many people I have put to sleep during my more than 24 hours of speeches, but it's probably in the thousands. Honorary degrees were conferred to six individuals who have made extraordinary contributions to the arts, social justice, and the humanities. Recipients include Lieutenant Governor David Onley and former University Board of Governors Chair Douglas Lawson. More than 3,300 graduates were conferred over three days, pretty much ensuring there'll be 3,300 people less in the city of Windsor. Last minute preparations are underway for the Canadian Track and Field Championships being held here at University of Windsor. We are excited to uh, host the Olympic Trials and uh, this is the first time in any sport that the actual Olympic Trials have been awarded to the City of Windsor. So we're very honoured to be uh, selected to host this prestigious event. Over 30 former and current Lancers are participating in this Olympic qualifying meet which runs July 3rd to the 6th. These athletes are a reflection of the amazing tradition of excellence in track and field which is reflected on that board up there that Dennis Farrell, Farrell and his crew have built with the Lancer Track program. Windsor recently lived up to its Sin City rep with an opening at Plishier Street Gallery. I'm reporting here from ABC News. Uh, there's been a, uh, a bit of a complaint from the, from the city that we put a large scale piece of naked artwork in the window and the mayor gives me a call and says, uh, Christian, I know you're doing things for downtown, but I'd appreciate it if you take it down. And I said, go fuck yourself. I'm not taking it down. The Naughty Show is the fifth show for the Pelissier Street Gallery, featuring the saucy work of more than 25 artists, which is the largest amount for any of the gallery shows so far. I decided to sort of um, let open up the floodgates and let everyone in, you know, get everybody excited about being artists again and start showing their work, and you know, that's the goal. Aldo, with hopes of bringing life back to Pelissier Street, says, This is the new Paris. You can either embrace tits or get out. The gallery is located at 510 Pelissier Street. Fringe artists everywhere are snapping their fingers for Fogg's biannual t-shirt art sale. A lot of people were telling me they could silkscreen. Yeah. It was driving me crazy because I had just learned and I was like, I can silkscreen and everyone who came in went, yeah, big deal. Why do that? Oh, great. Well, I'm not special then. And I was trying to think of a way to goad them into doing work, so I started calling them out, like, well, I haven't seen a shirt that you've made, so, like, prove it to me. How good is it? It can't be that good. You can't do it too very, too often, because I don't see any of your stuff anywhere. And that led directly to, okay, let's do a t-shirt art show. This crowd craves this kind of thing, so I thought, yeah, we'll do it as an event, and then it started having to happen twice a year, because, like, once a year wasn't enough. Well, some of these people went from, oh, I'm going to make a shirt or two, to, I'm now, I need a logo and a label, and I'm gonna sell them on Etsy, I'm gonna sell them online, and it's worth it. Get this, all the money actually goes to the artist. The show runs until the end of the month. All right, you dubs, thanks so much for checking out our first edition of The Lance Out Loud. I hope we made you LOL. <laughs> Get you to check our website, often at passthepages.ca, for any upcoming Lance Out Loud clips, and we'll be on there often.